What's up, YouTube? What's up, boy? Young Link here. Real quick video, man. I know y'all heard. I haven't been. I've been following the NBA Finals. You know, Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Just want to touch on what I want to say about the Aisha Curry type of tweet. Now, if you guys didn't really heard, let me turn my radio down. If you guys didn't really heard, shout out to Mike Jackson, man. You feel me? <laughs> All right, I was going back to the topic. Shout. Out. But anyway, man. You know, Aisha Curry, which is Stephen Curry's wife. She actually tweeted um, her really response about the game man you know how how fixed it is and how the nba is really run by fix and it's really rigged man and it's just for money and she had a good point man for the most part man i know it's a lot of eyes out here listening and stephen a smith bashing her comparing her to lebron's wife there's a lot of stuff going on a lot of people saying it's going to ruin stephen curry's career but at the end of the day i kind of agree with her in a way because i mean we all know the nba finals the the any the Super Bowl, the Stanley Cup, the World Series, any type of major sporting event is fixed. We all know that. You know, it's all about for money, man. Did you know that in the NBA Finals, they generate every single game they generate over three hundred million dollars. Three hundred million dollars. They generate over three hundred million dollars just for one game. That's including all endorsements. All kinds of stuff, man. Now, when they got rid of Draymond Green, I believe in Game Five because I guess it was from a flagrant foul between him and LeBron. You know, that was a theory, maybe to what prolong the series to Game Seven. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, they projected Golden State Warriors to win. You know, in Game Six last year. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, she had a lot of guts to say that, man. You know. We all know these higher officials, these owners, man, they predetermined. It's predetermined. They pick who they want to win. So my eyes are open, though. But at the end of the day, I believe Cleveland Cavaliers is going to win a series. I've been telling my people from work and everybody around me that Cleveland Cavaliers is going to win since the beginning, man. I mean, if you think about it, that, you know, the biblical King James was born in 1566, the year 1566, right? And LeBron James' nickname is King James, and he was born June 19th. LeBron James was born December 30th. That had nothing to do with it, but King James was born June 19th. And so the game is tomorrow, June 19th. So you do uh, do the math, right? So you do June, which is uh, month 6. So you do 6 plus 19 plus 16, which is 41. And LeBron James been scoring 41 points consecutive, right, from the consecutive two games to defeat the Golden State Warriors besides, I think I want to say game 3 when he scored 25, whatever, or 30 points. But for the most part, 41 points. That's key, man. You know... And it's like this whole numerology, man, thing, I think it's just projected and it's scripted for Cleveland to win. But at the same time, they have been playing tight defense on Klay Thompson and Stephen Curry, so who all knows. But at the end of the day, man, I got the Kelly Cleveland Cavaliers winning this game. And Aisha Curry, man, like, continue to be a light worker. You know, this, if you if you about that life, I, I, you said you tweeted in the heat of the moment, but at the end of the day, I know you want to protect your man's career. And at the end of the day, you want to be his right man, but... I don't shame you. I think you did the right thing. I think you said the right thing. I mean, it's the truth. You know, we live in a world today. A lot of people don't want to justify the truth. They want to be in sin and just live in this illusion. You know what I'm saying? They hate the truth. The truth should make you free. So I salute to you. You know, continue to be that light worker. Continue to shine. But game seven is going to be a toss up. You know, so my eyes are, my eyes are, uh, my eyes. I'm going to touch my ears for My eyes are, uh, I'm listening. Let's watch it ears i'm listening man so i'm gonna watch this game but i'm probably gonna analyze it anyway you know i don't really do too many nba final games but i just just want to throw my two cents in there man but check into that though you guys take care it's young link enjoy this glorious day i'm out deuces